Hello everyone and welcome back to Cloud's Fortress Craft Frozen Factory. I've been doing a little bit of work trying to get things done with the blast furnaces. I have a lot of power coming down now. Basically I just kept bringing more power lines until their power bank was full. And then I worked on the next one. So we have two of them now feeding into the casting basin. They're doing okay. I mean, it's obviously a lot slower than my 40 different or, uh, not 40. Yeah, I think it is close to 40 smelters up on the surface. So I guess I didn't do a very good job explaining of how this is going to work, but I didn't really have a whole lot of it set up. Now I have much more set up, a lot easier to see. So we have our carts coming down the line, and they're loading up here. These guys have already been... One of them is do uh, dedicated to nothing but molybdenum. One of these lifts is bringing up nothing but molybdenum. Another lift is bringing up nothing but chromium. And then the other ones are all spread out gold, uh, nickel, and titanium. And they're all depositing them into these hoppers, which the mine carts pick up. And then they're coming along here. And I have room for more inputs. These are all the mine cart depots to put the mine carts on the track. That's just temporary. And then they come along here, and these are unload stations. And there's hoppers on each side, so there's plenty of room to unload. And the reason that the hoppers are on this side as well, because if I want to have more lifts coming straight, they can just straight deposit their materials into these hoppers. Now I'm going to kind of play a little balancing act, you know. Right now all the ore is full, so I'll build another at least two more blast furnaces to get, to keep the casting basin up. And once he has four, then I'll see if this is enough ore for them to, to keep happy. Because right now there's plenty of ore they really couldn't use anymore. I mean, it's full. It's completely full. And that's just with these lifts themselves. That's not even the other set of lifts. I have this other set of lifts going down too. And then I have the ability to produce, of course, another probably 15 to 20 lifts going down this shaft, which I'm going to have to do because I'm going to need tier 1 ores down here. So I'll probably use this shaft for tier 1 ores because we have some, was that lithium or tin? We have lithium there, we have copper here, we have iron, we have all kinds of tier 1 ores down this shaft that we're going to be mining up and bringing up this shaft. This still has to move, but I haven't started setting up any of my production facilities. The only reason I set this up is so I can pull molybdenum and chromium out of here as I need it. But I've also left my arc smelters up top. He is out of heads again. He, is, he burns through those heads like crazy. I'll just need to make a couple trips one time and get like a hundred of them over here. This one's still persevering. That was a pretty big crystal vein. It was a lot bigger than it looked. I'm up to almost a hundred thousand crystal. That's nothing. In my last game I had like a million and a half. Let me show you the cryoplasm. It has, of course, moved forward some more, but it's like going around now. I'm not quite sure what exactly he's trying to do here. Maybe it's because I've walled it in. He's confused. But it looks like he's trying to go around the wall. Hopefully you can see that. And then, of course, there's this big natural cave here. He's all f piling into. So that'll take a, quite a while to actually clean up. So I don't know what, what, what he's doing. Maybe he's afraid of my wall. I know I'm just going to come down here one time and he's just going to be climbing over the wall. That's probably what's going to happen next time. So the next thing really that needs to be done is I need to get more casting basins. Or uh, not casting basins. I need to get more blast furnaces built. Which I just don't have the molly right now. And because this smelting system's a little slow, what is this? 
I broke that power somehow. I don't, I'm not even sure what this is powering. Let me follow this line here. I think this might be powering this mine over here. Yep. Doesn't matter. He doesn't have any heads anyway. So we'll just take all of this stuff out now. Yeah. <laughs> It obviously didn't matter because he still has power in this battery. That's funny. Alright, but I can take from here. That's why I brought all the power down on all of those. You get some blocks. Might not have been enough. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Okay. I guess I'll make some of my own then. I'm about to be out of power too. There we go. And with no batteries, we don't need the guns anymore. Although that does make me nervous. Too many camo bots not to have at least a couple of these turrets laying around. They like to do tricky things. Yeah, see we need cutter heads in there. That is something I'll worry about next time. So what I've been kind of doing to supplement my ore is I'm still kind of bringing some molly and some chromium up to the top to smelt because I do still have the uh, arc smelters so I'll go do a run of that and see if I have enough materials up top to make another one of these blast furnaces and I'm back I actually had a couple hundred of uh, the bars okay. just waiting up there for me now I think it is 54. Could be wrong. That's the wrong building. I think it's 63. And there we go. Now he, of course, is going to need not only power, but to be connected. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that right there. See, the next hour or so is me trying to figure out what's going on. Apparently, you are no longer allowed to build the blast furnaces more than 15M away from the casting basin. And I'm pretty sure that on my last playthrough, in fact, I'm actually going to go load that world up later and take a look. I'm pretty sure I had casting basins way more than 15 meters away from the blast furnaces. But apparently that's the answer I got online, that it's 15 meters. So I'm going to have to rework this design a little bit. In fact, this is no longer even needed, this hole. This can just be covered up. I'm going to dig out. It's lasers in the way now too, but I'll probably put the casting basin then right down here. It doesn't need power. It doesn't even really need to be seen. And I can just run the lines that carry the materials out of it all the way down underground to here. That's the plan, anyway. But before I go all crazy with all of that stuff, I need to make sure that it was indeed because it's 15M. So I need to rebuild my casting basin. Uh, 
Over here should be good enough. Then again, I don't want it to be... You know what? I'll just do it right here behind this wall. Let me turn my light on for you. Destroy... You know, DJ is going to be adding in with the V3 build gun an area of effect for making clearing blocks like this a simple breeze. And I'm excited about that because in Starbound, the uh, you kind of have the same thing. You know, you have a tool that can deconstruct blocks and reconstruct them somewhere else, the same way they were. And that tool has an area of effect, so it makes clearing large areas really, really easy. All right, so I should be able to put it here now. Five by three by five, and I need to leave some space so I don't block this laser. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. And obviously I'm gonna have to clear out more room. I'll probably put glass on top of this so that we can, and I'll leave like one spot open so that we can still check it and make sure it's working. There's that. And now, of course, I need to clear out a lot more room. So, I'll run these in order. The new one I just made is going to hook up to this spot. And this is what I'm most focused on right now, is making sure this works. Before I go deleting all my other... Continuous casting basin. Yep, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that's not even the one that. That's the second one. Silly me. That one was already working. Seven. Without the falling and the flying and all of that. All right, let's see if we can't get this one hooked up now. See, he's connected. I need to give him power now. Which, of course, I already deleted. Okay, so now that is the problem. It needs to be within 15M. Problem solved. Fantastic. Now I have to hook up these as well. Again. No corners coming out of the machines. I don't know if that's even been fixed yet, but I'm not taking any chances. Let's go straight one more. Just give that a second. There we go. And now for you, actually it would be easier to just go out like this, I think. it up like that and then of course all the hoppers and all of that stuff's gonna have to go in I'll do that all off camera well I have a hopper I have the materials are gonna be going into the back and where all these slimes are gathering I'm thinking of digging a really big hole and making a slime trap that bring because these are all titanium dropping slimes so if I build a really big hole and then put a vacuum hopper down below with transport pipes feeding up to a filter and put the titanium ore right into the blasting furnaces that'd be kind of funny I don't know if it'll be worth it but 
be a free, never-ending source of titanium. So, I decided to split it up a little bit more. I got this one here, and then I'm going to do two more. Feeding into all of these. Alright, I finished hooking everything up. Doesn't look like there's really too much of a backup. And I cleared up some more space. Got everything looking nice. Now, the next major job will be to probably just go ahead and build a Mark IV battery up here so that I have less mess of lasers. Probably build two Mark IV batteries up there, slightly off-centered from each other, but still able to beam down everything to these blasting furnaces. And I'm pretty sure I don't have the tin plates to pull this off. Or the alloyed machine blocks. No, I don't. That's unfortunate, so that's going to have to probably wait. Although, by this point, there's probably a hundred of them. Or a couple hundred of them waiting for me up top. Pretty good amount of bars there. 263 of each. So I probably just about have enough to make another blast furnace, but I'm going to focus on power first, because there's really no sense in adding another blast furnace if that one's not fully powered. Ah, I almost made it. I need to move this teleporter so I'm not jumping up here every time to get to it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my alloyed blocks soon as I can see. Oh, the lag's kind of bad up here. It'll get better. Oh yeah, plenty of alloyed machine blocks. And now I can't even remember what the other thing was. Oh yeah, tin plates. Do I have enough? Crafting. Uh... No. Of course I don't. And I'm actually going to need enough tin plates for like two of them. So I'll be back when I have those. Oh well, look what we have here. I just got back down. And I saw my laser pointing over here. 184 M away from the, uh, the uh, climate control center. But right in the path of all of my mine shafts. So, I might build up a secondary wall around the mine shafts to kind of stop, help stop any cryoplasm coming through. Don't know how much good that'll do. But we're going to need to get cracking on these lancers very soon. So I want two of these batteries. And the idea is to definitely put one up here. Probably just trying to think of a good way to do it. Maybe put one up here in between those two and then another one up there in between those two. I think that might be good. So first things first, I need to make a little platform in which everything will sit on top of. I'm surprised I haven't fallen in a hole yet. Alright, so I got the one, the two, the three, so if I build the Mark IV battery, one more up from this platform, build it on top of here, and I might have to take care of a couple of those first. So hopefully I won't mess up too much in setting this up. So if I want him in between these two, at one, two, three, 
the middle of the battery I'd have to say it's going to be here. So that'll be the end of the battery. And I can always mess around with it if I didn't do it right. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff. And hopefully all of these lasers that are coming in will be connecting to this battery anyway. Just about. We have one that missed right there. Get this crystal out of my way and I can fix that. All I have to do is just move him over one. Hopefully I don't run out of power doing this. Where did it go? Where did it go? Right here, I think. And we're good. Something fell down into that hole there, unfortunately. I think it was a, uh, a laser transmitter. I'll never see that again. Alright, we have power coming down to him, but that's it. So now we need to put lasers like crazy on the bottom of this. Until it says, until it no longer says it needs power. I'll just give that another minute. And it looks like it could still use another laser. At least one more laser. So that means, of course, I'm going to add two. And then we have on the other side, it, get back up there, we need to also power him up some more. Wow, even with two more lasers you're still low? One of these isn't transmitting. Well, it's not much out of... Yeah, okay, there we go. It's only out of power every so often. Now, I don't want this battery to be full. So as long as it's... Yeah, it looks like it's emptying pretty quickly, so... I've got enough lasers coming out of it. Now I just need to focus on getting more pointing at it. And I don't see any lasers that aren't not connected to anything. Looks like everything's pretty much connected everywhere. So I will need to be sending more over. And, you know, I might actually just pop an excavator on top of this. See where that comes out and build. Because it's right next to where I've got a couple turbines hooked up to some fuel. I might go ahead and bring a couple extra lines down. Build a few more turbines in between episodes and then run that power specifically for the blast furnaces because I'm going to be starting to remove some of my manufacturing down here and they're going to need some of these power lines that are spread out all over the place. So yeah, I have a bit of work to do on that. Yeah, that'll have to do it for now. So next episode I'm going to start putting up some Lancers. In between episodes I'm going to get a whole bunch of them built up because we need, desperately need to get on this wall here before they start spilling down over that little cliff. Because they're over here. And this is growing pretty quick. Because that wasn't there too long ago. So we need to get some lasers on that side. We'll get some lasers on the other side. Like I said, in between episodes, I'll take care... I'll finish off the blast furnaces. I don't need to show any more of that. I'm going to bring power down. More power. I'm going to place another Mark IV battery and we'll have four blast furnaces going. But that'll have to do it, so I appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you next time.